Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have of course your weekly vaccine and lockdown update for Wales and the UK. Now I want to start this video off by saying something. I'm afraid the lockdown restrictions that I mentioned last week for today, Monday 10th of May, haven't been mentioned since the election so I'm not too sure if they've actually gone ahead or what the liftings have gone ahead or not so I'm not too sure. I'm afraid the only way you're going to find out is to go to those places that were rumoured to be lifted and find out because I don't know. They just haven't mentioned anything since the election, so sorry guys. I will link that video in the description for you guys to go and check what, what I did say last week to see what should have been lifted today. Whether it has, I don't know. So, a bit unfortunate, I'm afraid, but nothing I can do. Like, the government just, I've just forgot about it, basically. So, but I do have some good news. I have the rest of the stuff that, I, that I'm going to talk about. So, Wales's first dose numbers. So these are the people in Wales who've had, this is the number of people in Wales who've had the first dose of the vaccine. And that number is 1,935,003 people have had their first dose of the coronavirus vaccine in Wales, which is a massively staggering number. Oh my God. I am so happy to see that number. Hopefully by the end of this week, we'll see 2 million. Hopefully. I imagine we will, because we've been going through these vaccines pretty quick now. So, fingers crossed, by this weekend, we will be seeing 2 million plus vaccines. Well, first, 2 million people plus with their first vaccine. Anyway, um, individuals who've had their second dose of the vaccine in Wales. So, this is people who've had the full course. And that number stands at 846,180, which is also a staggeringly huge number. Oh my goodness. But this number is even bigger. And that is, of course, the first dose figures for the whole UK. And that number is a whopping 35,371,669 people have had their first dose in the U across the UK. As for second doses, as I've said before, they don't give those numbers out as readily. Um, but of course, there are also some massive lockdown updates coming next week which I'm going to, well, hopefully, these are what's been highly rumoured. Um, we will get confirmation of this on Friday from the First Minister, Mark Drakeford, and we're getting an update today on England's from Prime Minister Boris Johnson. I will do Wales's first, and I'll move on to England's very quickly. Um, so, here's what's going to be happening, hopefully, next week. Wales will be moving completely into Level 2, from only being in Level 3 for a week. No, two weeks, but still. So... Here's what will happen next week, provided that the rumours are correct. Indoor hospitality will reopen. Um, remainder of holiday accommodation can open, for example, campsites with shared facilities to members of single households or extended households. Um, entertainment venues can reopen, including cinemas, bingo, hall, bingo halls, bowling alleys, indoor play centres and areas, casinos and amusement arcades. Um, Indoor visitor attractions can reopen, such as museums, galleries, education and heritage centres, um, and heritage sites, such as stately homes can reopen, for example, Irving in Wrexham. Um, um, the rule of thought still applies to, for gatherings um, in regulated premises, like a cafe, so up to four people from four households can meet up, or a single household if more, if more than four people. Um, the rule of six continues outdoors, meetings Meeting indoors private homes um, is still limited to just extended households, which is unfortunate, but hey-ho. Um, the limits on organised activities increases from um, increases to 30 indoors and 50 outdoors, which is massive increases. Um, wedding receptions can take place indoors and in regulated premises for up to 30 people. And moving very swiftly on to the announcement from Boris Johnson with what's going to be coming in England... Give me a moment. Ah, yes, here it is. Apologies about that, guys. I was just looking through a lot of articles. Um, here is the 11 um, announcements he's expected to make tonight. Well, last night for you guys. Number one, hugging is going to be allowed from next week. Um, two, sleepovers are now permitted again in extended households, of course. Um, but, um... Yeah, so sleepovers will be allowed. I will leave all these links in the description that I've used throughout this video to 
to show you guys what I've kind of skipped over a bit. Um, pubs can open indoors, which Wales is matching, I believe. Um, up to 30 people can gather outdoors. Again, Wales is doing the same. Um, five domestic holidays can resume. Again, same here. Foreign travel can resume. I'm not too sure about the situation on that in Wales. Um, um, no cap on mourners at funerals. I don't know about that in Wales. I assume there's still a cap on how many people can go there. To go to funerals, I mean. Um, eight, larger events can start going ahead. Again, that hasn't really been announced much in Wales. Um, nine, saunas and steam rooms can reopen. I've heard nothing about that here. Um, ten, cinema... Oh, excuse me. Cinemas, museums, and kids' play hours can reopen. Yes, that's happening in Wales as well. And weddings will still be limited. Same here, more than likely. But as I said, I will leave all these links down in the description of this video so you guys can properly look at everything I've just said and in detail. So hopefully things will be a lot clearer because today is not going to be the smoothest of updates because, of course, there's a lot of stuff missing due to the whole them just not talking about the, the restrictions for this week that were planned. Anyways, that is everything for this video, guys, unfortunately. So, as always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to mine and Rockstown's YouTube channel, so the link is down in the link tree in the description. My sub button is down there. Yep, that big red one. Unless you've already subscribed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And don't forget to click both of our bell icons, get both sets of our notifications as well um, when we upload videos. Um, don't forget to comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you thought of today's um, news surrounding the lockdown and the vaccine. Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Stereo, and Roxanne and her blog. Those links are also in the link tree in the description. And lastly, of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.